Anatomy and Physiology 2, The Heart Dissection. The heart is a muscular pump located in the mediastinum of the thoracic cavity. The right side of the heart, shown here in blue, pumps deoxygenated blood towards the pulmonary circuit. The left side of the heart, shown here in red, pumps oxygenated blood towards the systemic circuit. This animation shows a little more anatomical detail. It has the four chambers of the heart, the two atria and the two ventricles, as well as three of the four valves. It'll be useful to note that the left ventricle has a thicker muscular wall or myocardium. We'll be using a sheep's heart for our dissection shown here on the right and referring to a model of the human heart. Before getting started, it's necessary to orient yourself and to determine what the left and right top and bottom of the heart are. The aorta and the pulmonary trunk shown here extend off of the base or the superior side of the heart and the apex, or the point, extends down from the inferior portion of the heart. So determining the top and the bottom is relatively straightforward. The sheep's heart, you can see the pulmonary trunk and the aorta. The aorta has a thicker wall than the pulmonary trunk. There's some indication of where the ventricles lie in the heart that you can recognize even superficially. The smooth area here lies above one of the ventricles, as does this one. And in between the ventricles is an interventricular sulcus. On the other side of the heart, you can see the smooth region here and here, which lie above ventricles, and in between is an interventricular sulcus. Above the ventricles lie the atria, and superficially they look a bit like ears and they're called auricles. So there's one and here's one. The question is, what is the left ventricle and left atrium, and what is the right ventricle and right atrium? And we know this is a ventricle, and this is a ventricle. But how do you determine what's left and right? It's useful to look at the walls of the ventricles, because as we know, the left ventricle has a thicker myocardium. So if you look at the actual walls of the ventricle, you can see that this has a relatively thick myocardium. It's the left ventricle. You can compare this to the walls of the other ventricle, which are rather thin. So this is the right ventricle. So now you've determined left and right, which means this is the anterior side of the heart, meaning this is the anterior interventricular sulcus. And now you also know the posterior side of the heart and the posterior interventricular sulcus. Now that we know the top, bottom, left, and right side of the heart, we can work through the features of the right side of the heart. So as we work our way through the right side of the heart, we'll follow the flow of blood. So the upper chamber that blood first enters is the right atrium. This is the oracle of the right atrium. And here we're looking down into the right atrium through the superior vena cava, one of the main veins that feeds the right atrium. There's also an inferior vena cava, so that's the other large vein that feeds blood into the right atrium. In this image, the right atrium has been cut open. And you can see the tricuspid valve shown here, which is that valve that lies between the right atrium and the right ventricle. In this image, I've cut down farther into the right ventricle. Again, you can see the tricuspid valve, as well as the cord-like tendons, called the chordae tendinae, that extend from the valve into the right ventricle. 
These tendons prevent the valve from prolapsing back into the right atrium and preventing the regurgitation of blood back into the right atrium. I've opened up the right ventricle here and extended some forceps up through the pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk has a thinner wall than the aorta shown here and the two are connected by the ligamentum arteriosum. If you look into the pulmonary trunk, you can see the pulmonary valve. Now we'll move on to the left side of the heart. Shown here are four relatively small pulmonary veins that enter the left atrium. Here is the oracle of the left atrium. And I'll be making a cut through the left atrium down into the left ventricle. The left side of the heart has been opened up here. And blood would flow through the left atrium to the left ventricle and then up through the aorta. The myocardium is thick because we're looking at the left ventricle. It's a good indicator of whether you're looking at left or right ventricle. And again, blood would flow through the left atrium, through the mitral valve, which is shown here, opened up, into the left ventricle. The chordae tendinae are visible, extending down into the left ventricle. And they connect to the wall of the left ventricle via the papillary muscles, shown here. Blood would flow up through the aorta. And you can see opened up here is the aortic valve. The quick review, blood would flow from the right atrium through the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle through the pulmonary valve and into the pulmonary trunk. Blood from the pulmonary trunk goes from the left atrium, through the mitral valve, through the left ventricle, past the aortic valve into the aorta.